What is going on LEGO investors? So as a LEGO investor, you need to look in the future to see what sets are coming out so you can kind of plan where you're going to allocate money and yeah, determine if a set is a great set that you want to eventually purchase. Now, when looking at sets that come out, you're looking at, we're talking potentially two to three years down the line. And you might think, why look at sets like that? Well, I like to plan ahead because I like to determine where I'm going to allocate my money in certain sets and determine if I want to go hard on a set. And when I say hard, I mean roughly a hundred sets or more. And yeah, I like to do this. And as an investor, you need to look at the past, present, and future. So we're going to look forward at the upcoming Lego sets, which if you're unfamiliar with Lego.com, it's under the shop and then coming soon page. So we got a few interesting sets coming out. First up is the Orient Express train. So this is a beautiful set. I love the color theme of this set, but this is an absolute pass. The train line used to be an amazing investment and the trains just really, really did solid. But the trains have been, the theme has been flooded there's just been a ton of trains and you've got just regular sets being made but you also have harry potter trains and i think that the changing point was uh two years ago or two black fridays ago where the hogwarts express went on sale and people were able to pick it up for 40 bucks it just flooded the market and then lego released another set the following year, and it just ultimately killed the Harry Potter trains, which can be used for city building, and they're, they're really great sets, but just the market is absolutely flooded. So let's take a, a, a better look at certain trains and just how they've done, and they, they really have done phenomenal, but since, yeah, two Black Fridays ago, trains just have done horrible. So obviously you got small, small little sets going on here, but the older sets just are, I mean, look at this, 150, you got a value of 214, and this, this, that's a mediocre set, but you're looking at like the city train value pack for 200, that's got a value of $500 right now, and this is just insane the lego inside tour exclusive i i if you know anything about this please comment down below but it's got a value of three thousand dollars that's absolutely insane and yeah so we've got the horizon express 130 value of 272 and the thing about it is back in the day sets were accurately priced now they're just insanely priced for the orient orient express for three hundred dollars in my opinion, that's like a hundred and sixty dollar set, maybe a hundred and eighty max for three hundred absolutely absurd, so yeah, as you can see, just pretty much anything train related prior to twenty eighteen twenty twenty just did phenomenal, and we're gonna take a look at a few sets, recent sets, and especially the Harry Potter trains to kind of get a gauge of. How recent sets have done and they just have not done well and I, I think the train theme is a strong theme but I I will only invest in it if it is a phenomenal design and yeah I, I think the I think the designs of the recent trains have just been pretty terrible excluding the Harry Potter sets the Harry Potter Express Hogwarts Express is just a phenomenal looking train. I think that's an amazing design and build, but it's just flooded and there's no value, especially in Harry Potter sets. So here's some Hogwarts Express. You you got the 2022 version retail for $500. I think Lego made an absolute huge mistake. This has went on sale recently, and I know a ton of people have picked it up. I think it was for $350, and I just can't invest it. I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone. If you buy it for three fifty, I don't think I could sell it for five hundred. I honestly do not think you could sell this for five hundred. At least locally, maybe online, but locally, no one would ever buy this from me, ever. 
because you've just got, in my opinion, much better options like the 2018 Hogwarts Express. This is the one that went on black uh, sale for Black Friday. And I bought a bunch of these, and I thought they were going to do really, really well. This set, I've only been earning 10 to $20 profit on, and I bought it for 40 I think it's a phenomenal set, but there's just no money anymore. And then if you look here, this is the 2023 version that came out a year after. And I don't know why Lego did that. They, they're they literally, literally just hurting themselves by doing something like that. They should have delayed this set maybe two to three years down the line to let this Hogwarts Express gain value. This is an awesome price set and a great set. And it's sad that it's doing even below retail. I I could not sell this for retail right now. I, I can only sell them for 60 to 70 if we're lucky, but it's just been a massive dud. And this is why I say that we should as an investors, we don't want sets to go on sale because if this didn't go on sale and this set didn't come out, this set would be like 130, maybe 150. But because it went for $40 and the market got flooded, it's doing less than retail. So as an investor, it's confusing when I say this because a lot of people just don't understand it. I do not want sets to go on sale. It really, really hurts us in retirement. So let's take a look at some modern sets so the city passenger train is the most recent one that is retired this has a retail value of 160 and it's got a value of 154 right now I, again this is such an ugly set and they've they made other sets like this and i think they're just terrible designs and i i don't i don't think trains are just really a great investment on it anymore so you've got a recent one with the cargo train for 2018 and then the new one just kind of came out. I, I don't see the new one doing doing even remotely or I shouldn't say even remotely. Uh, this one has a, a value of 224 right now and the new one just came out and that that's going to tank too. So prior to 2018 trains just are not good investments. It has to be an awesome design. And you've got the, again, the 2022 Express Passenger Train, the green version, compared to the yellow version. It's just absolutely terrible. So absolutely avoid the Orient Express Train. I think I think it's a beautiful, I think I love the blue, but everything about it is way overpriced, and trains just don't do well. It That's a Harry Potter train, Hogwarts Express Train to me. And you could get one for way, way cheaper. So, yeah, on eBay, you're just looking at insane prices all over the board because there's just so many. And unless, unless it it's it comes down to design and price nowadays. And I think the design has been terrible for recent sets, and. The price, it's just, they're way overpriced and it's really, really hurting trains and other sets in general. But let's take a look at some other sets. So we've got the Aus Auspicious Dragon. I is am, am I mispronouncing that? Is, do you say that differently? I don't know. This is a cool display piece, but for 90 I think it's overpriced. I wish this was like a $69.99 set which I think it could do well if it was cheaper. So maybe I would consider this uh, when it goes on sale. But dragons, again, used to be good, but now they're just not that great, especially with Ninjago kind of flooding the market. I, I think Ninjago is a terrible theme to invest in. And if they didn't make so many sets, I think they would be, some of the sets would be pretty decent. But you get a lot of dragons from Ninjago. So looking looking at some previous dragon sets, like the Elves, $40 retail, $130 value. We're we're gonna do nowhere near this. I think this might be honestly like a hundred dollars if we're lucky, maybe one ten, one twenty. But I I just would have to get this set on sale. So ultimately I I would pass on this set. I just don't I just don't like 
that dragon in particular and the dragon thing dragon sets nowadays just have not really done well so i would invest my money elsewhere primarily star wars sets star wars is the best theme to invest in when lego investing so just keep that in mind if you're new to investing but yeah a ton of the older sets absolutely phenomenal but those days are long long gone and yeah ninjago's got some pretty awesome dragons and they just don't they don't do very well so next up we've got some you know the family reunion celebration 130 comes with a decent amount of minifigs but ultimately i think i'll pass on this one i think it's a little might be a little too small for city and city building so if you're new to lego investing you've got a variety of options uh you've got the city building because people just build massive cities so those kind of sets do well if you can you know buy a car or plane or train you know similar to that and they can implement it in the city yeah it might do pretty decent this one i don't know i think it's way overpriced comes with decent amount of minifigures but this should be i think probably like an 89 dollar set around 80 it's a little high but i'll ultimately pass on that and then you've got bowser's muscle car expansion set avoid avoid this i think this is a great set i think it looks amazing but bowser just doesn't really do or i shouldn't say bowser uh mario doesn't do the best there is maybe one bowser set that has done okay and that's you know the castle boss battle but if i'm gonna buy a bowser set it's going to be the mighty bowser i think this is a grand slam i cannot wait for this to retire and i cannot wait for it to go on sale because i truly believe this is one of the best sets lego has ever made and it is a phenomenal set i love the size that they made it and it's just this is an awesome awesome display piece so i'm passing on the muscle car i would buy probably the mighty bowser when it comes close to retirement so ultimately pass on that then we got tiny plants i actually like this set it's pretty decent but i'll probably pass on those the mega megapolis city fourth anniversary pass on that that is insanely priced i i don't i don't know what lego was thinking on that and then the baby rescue uh dinosaur center or the baby dinosaur rescue center for 40 bucks this one might be an option i'm gonna have to do thorough research on this because dino minifigs absolutely do phenomenal when lego investing so i'm gonna have to come back on that one i don't know if i would buy it if on sale and you know maybe i think the the dino figs could fetch some money i might buy a few but this is not a go hard set and then the heart lake city sh uh, shopping center absolutely insane 120 dollars passing on that dory's sunken shipwreck adventure expansion set passing isabel's house visit passing on that shadow the Hed hedgehog escape that might be a pretty decent set because this i believe is going to be the first uh shadow figure i think uh for 20 bucks not too bad that's this is definitely a sale set i might buy a few just for the figure if he's not included in any other sets now we got the festival calendar passing on that nook and cranny rosie's house pass on that the armory absolutely passing on that julian's birthday party passing animal sanctuary passing bunnies outdoor adventures pass spring festival mickey mouse this is an absolute buy this i think is the best set coming out on the this page and why do i think so because the mickey mouse brickheads have done phenomenal so let's take a look at how mickey is done so we've got it came out in 2018 retired 2018 retailed for 10 bucks it's got a value of 74 dollars and 61 cents that's a 646 0.85 percent growth absolutely phenomenal and brickheads are growing in popularity i i try to invest as in mu as much brickheads as possible because they they easily double in price worst case scenario depending on a few sets 
Some of them go absolutely insane. And I think this set is going to be passed up and overlooked because it's it's a little unique. It's not normal Mickey Mouse. But I think when it comes time, people are going to regret not buying this set. And I think, hey, I could see this selling for $40 to $50 because just Mickey has done so well. And, I, yeah, I truly believe people are going to pass it up and absolutely regret it. Brickheads is growing in popularity. And why do I like Brickheads? Because they're small, they're easy to store, and if you ship, they're they're cheap to ship. But they're also Lego, they're typically Lego store exclusives where you can only get them at the Lego store. And they have short shelf life. So that is great for investing. Less inventory, they're harder to come by, and I think this set is absolutely going to be a grand slam and I cannot wait for this one to retire because I, I think there's going to be a big money in this set eventually. So next up is Yoshi's. Well, actually, let me let me go back just show you some Brickhead examples uh, just to kind of expand. So, you know, some 2018 non-Disney, you know, non-Mickey Mouse headsets, $20 retail value of 113 dollars $15 retail, value of 36 Jack Skellington and Sally, absolutely phenomenal sets. Retail, 20 value of 125 I mean, Brickheads has a history, a strong, strong history of doing amazing. And if people pass this set, this set's going to do awesome. So next up, we've got Yoshi's Excellent Force Expansion Set, absolutely pass. Captain Island's uh, Boat Tour, pass. And the Nabbit at Toad's uh, Shop Expansion Set, pass. And then the Penguin Family Snow Adventure Set, that's a pass. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on these sets. Do you think some of these sets are going to do insane? Are you going to be investing in these when they do re retire? Which we're talking potentially two to four years from now and I, I like to look ahead because when I'm allocating potentially six grand for one Star Wars set I need to make sure I've got enough money to buy a few of these sets the 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 set that I'm absolutely absolutely gonna go hard on is that that Mickey Mouse it's so unique and so awesome and a great entry pr price I, I think that one is going to be the clear winner. So I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Please comment it down below. It definitely helps the community and it helps the channel. But as always, please do your own research, have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.